Hello all Thomas Heck art students. This is Mr. E. We're working on day four of our project where we're taking a photograph like this one and we're going to scale it up into a large drawing of that same photograph over here. We're using the grid method to enlarge this and we're going to use tint, shades, and tones to create value in our photograph or our final drawing I should say. You can see on day one we picked our photograph out. I picked this one uh, and I did a grid on the photo. You can see it's numbered 1 through 7 along the top and 1 through 8 along the side down to the bottom. Then on day 2 we created a grid over here on this paper making it the same 1 through 7 on the top but larger squares and 1 through 8 down the side. On day three, went back to the photograph and I started to define and show where all the different tint shades and tones were on the photograph by actually outlining those tint shades and tones. And I can see where I've drawn lines kind of around here to show where those different tint shades and tones are. This took me about an hour on my photograph to do it because he's got a lot of different values on his face there. It's kind of hard to see. Uh, just looking through the camera, but there are a ton of different values on his face. So you want to take your time when you're doing the values. Today, if you've already done all the values, which you should have, we're going to move on to going ahead and taking this photo and then moving it to drawing it over here. So we're going to replicate it across to our final drawing. We're going to do that by drawing it one square at a time. I'm going to put the uh, iPad back up on my little stand I made here. So bear with me for a second. Let's see if and there it is. I'm going to move it over slightly so you can see. And I'm going to see if I can get a little bit better light on here as well. There we go. Slightly better light. Okay, we're going to go with that. Okay, so when you start to do your transfer of this over from this to this, what you're going to want to do is pick out a square you want to start with. I'm going to start with this square right here, number 7, and that corresponds to this square over here, number 7. So everything that I see in this square, including the lines that I used for my uh, values I'm going to transfer over. So I can see in this square right here that there's a line that comes up and goes right around this way. That's a value line showing a difference between a really dark shade and kind of a middle value of a tone right here. And there's another tone down here and I even think there might be another tone right there. I'm going to add that in right now. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to go ahead and I'm starting right here at this portion and I'm trying to follow the line I already made. I'm going to go up and I'm going to come down just like this and I'm going this way there and then I see there's a line that comes up this way and another line that goes this direction comes here and that's that area I see right there right at this corner there's a little kind of a lighter tint that comes in there and I think I've almost got it all slightly little over that. so I just did one square here that's this square that I have right here now I'm going to move over because that square is pretty dark so it can see on my iPad that it's pretty hard to see there. So I'm going to move over and I'm going to go ahead and do this square next. That's square 5 uh, across and 1 down. So I'm still on square 1 and that would be square 5, 1 right there. So you can see this line I think pretty well through the camera. 
and I'm going to draw that in next. So it doesn't matter what order you go in as far as these lines go, or which square you do first. I'm actually going to erase that because I don't like what I did there. And I'm going to redraw that, and it looks like to me that line is a lot closer to the top, more like there, and then it comes down this way, and then it exits just before this corner. Then I'm going to come down here because I see a line that comes in here and goes that way. So I'm going to go ahead and draw that in. I would like to point out that I made this grid here on this paper a lot darker than I probably should have. And I did that mostly because it shows up on the camera better. But if I was doing this in the classroom, you'd see barely see the grid because ultimately you don't want this to look like a picture where the guy's behind like a chain link fence or something like that. You want it to look more natural. So I would say if you want to draw yours a little lighter, feel free to. So there I've got square five uh, crossed and one down done. I'm going to go right below it and do that square there too. So I can see there's a connection here, right there, where this comes in and goes that way. There's also another little line that kind of comes out of that. And it goes kind of up into this corner, which makes me see that I skipped a part right here that needs to be there. So I've got that all in. I'm going to keep going on this one, which is, this one's fairly detailed. There's a lot of lines in there. So I've got a line that comes up, curves down, and goes into that corner. And there's a little line that comes that way. If I go over to this side and I look, I see there's a line that goes like this, comes down, and it goes up and kind of touches here. Then I look over here and there's a line that goes this way. Kind of comes across there. This is a very detailed part right here. There's another line, so this goes here. I'm going to look at it again. It looks like I missed a line that comes in there, so I'm going to do that one. Right there, and then it looks like right about there, there's a line that comes, and it kind of comes around this way, and then it goes into this corner, and then underneath that, there's a line here. There's another line that kind of curves around there. Over in this corner, I can see underneath where this happens, there's kind of a, this sort of a line. And then there's a line that comes in here, goes back this way. So that's this here. And then there's a little kind of light spot that comes up down here at the bottom. Alright, so you saw how long that took me. I just did three squares in about 10 minutes there. So there you can see it better. It's not quite shining quite as much. But it'll take a while and you want to be as accurate as possible when you're looking at this and transferring what you see here over to here. Look at your numbers. Look at your squares. If you're in square 2, 2, you'd be there. If you're in square 1, 1, you'd be there. If you were in square 3, 3, you'd be there. So use your graph to help you plot where you are in your drawing, and that will help you. And then once you're done, you're going to have it all drawn over here. But I would emphasize, draw it one square at a time. If you try and draw the whole face all at once, you're going to get frustrated. So make it easy on yourself. Just draw one of these squares at a time, and then they'll all connect together and make your face. I hope that was fun. I uh, hope that helped out. Um, 
kind of doing a review of the written project that I had for last week and I thought these videos would help with that. So I hope you guys are doing well. Remember, if you need any help, I do have uh, office hours uh, as far as email office hours during the day. Uh, I check from 1 to 2. And you can always email me and get more feedback from me at Erlenmeyer at LESD dot K12 dot AZ dot US. And my first or my my last name, Erlenmeyer, is spelled E R L E N M E Y E R. I believe you could also go to the Litchfield website for L. Thomas Heck and probably find me there. Uh, I believe they probably have me listed somewhere on that. If not, just try the email I just gave you. Hope you guys are all doing well. Keep doing that art. And hopefully we'll see you all soon. Talk to you later.